Hey, what's up, guys? It's Ryan Share here with PC DJ Dex 3.4. This is the latest iteration of our flagship DJ software for mixing all types of media. In this latest iteration, we introduced a new feature uh, that we're going to highlight today, and that's the ability to ability to store and recall loops. Uh, so, in previous iterations, and this is the default mode here, when you load a track to the deck, by default you will see your cue points, your hot cues, uh, located under the deck. You have one through six. These are points along the track you can instantly create and store hot cues and recall them or trigger them. Uh, you also have your in and out, which is new to DEX 3.4 as well, allowing you to set mix in and out points for auto mix or manual play. And then you've got this cues button. Well, this cues button is a toggle button. So when you click it, you will now see your loop storage buttons, basically. You have one through five. So you can store five different loops per track that will always be there. So every time you queue up the track, load it to a deck, you can recall these loops, trigger them, and it'll instantly jump to the loop. So in order to store a loop, you first have to create a loop. So we'll hit play on the deck. And I'll just play, click eight to create a nice eight beat loop. So there we go, we got our eight beat loop, little eight bar loop there. So now if I wanna store it, okay, I like this loop. Now I didn't really practice or anything, this isn't the best loop, but for the sake of this video, we'll store this loop. So we've got the loop, now we're just gonna click one of these buttons. So you have to be in the loop, once again, be in the loop either by using the mix or the in and out button to create a manual loop or any of the automatic quantize loop buttons. Uh, so we're in the loop, now we're just gonna click one of these buttons. That loop is now stored at position one. So not only will the button light up, you also see a new flag here, this white flag along the timeline of the track that will indicate that the, cube, the loop position is right there for number one. It has, it'll have a number one on it if I set another one. So let's go ahead and just set another one real quick. I'll exit the loop. Let's just jump ahead a little bit in the track. So we'll set a nice little eight beat loop there. I'm gonna click two to store it. So we'll exit this. Now you'll see along the track here, you've got a one representing the, the first loop position I set and a two representing the second. So you can see along the timeline here where those are at within the track. So if I wanna just play one of these loops, just like hot cues, I can just press one of the buttons. Now you can be playing the track and trigger one of these buttons as well, of course, and it'll instantly jump into it. So you can jump from loop position to loop position. And then get really creative with this, do a little remixing on the fly, reorder the track however you please. So that's all there really is to it. Now you can use up to five positions, and of course these are stored permanently. So every time you queue up the track, they'll be there for you uh, to use. If you have any questions, uh, regarding how to use these loop storage buttons and recalling loops, please leave them in the comment section below. Thanks.